Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we create an API to post customer in Spring Boot and Angular. First of all, we will create an API in Spring Boot and later we will call this API from Angular. So let's get started. So here you can see the Spring Boot application. Let me stop this and let's create an entity in the entity package. So the class name is customer. Let's annotate it with add the red data. Annotation add the red entity and the name of the table. So this annotation is used to reduce the boilerplate code like the properties have a getter and setters constructors and here's the add the rate entity that you use to make this class as a table in the database and here's the table annotation that you use to write the name into the database so let's add here the few properties i'm making this property as a primary key of this table so i've added here the add the rate id Second addition, we need to add here generated value and strategy that is generation type dot identity. So here are the properties. The first one is ID, name, email, and form. So let's go to our user repository, and I, here I'm going to create. Let's extend with JPA repository. You can see here. So let me give the customer entity over here and the data type of our primary key that is so we need to add annotation that is at the red repository so in the services package i'm going to create the class that is customer service so let's annotate with add the red service like this class react as a service of the application so let me inject here customer repository and we need to add here annotation that is required args constructor from lombok and you can see here there is come from here so let's create here the method that is a public and the response type we need to add here a customer and name of the method that is post customer so in the argument it will receive a customer object so let me add here so here we need to return customer repository dot save and here we need to give the customer object let's call this method from our controller class so let me create here the controller so the controller name is customer controller so let's annotate with at the rate rest controller and the second annotation we need to add here request mapping and i'm adding here slash api string and the third annotation i'm adding here required args constructor let's inject here our customer service so it will be a private final customer service so let's create here the api and it will be a public and the return type we need to add here customer and name of the method so in the argument it will receive customer entity so we need to add here the annotation that is a request body and the customer object over here so here we need to call customer service dot post customer method and we need to give customer object over here so we need to add here a return and you can see order is gone so let me make it as a post mapping and we need to add here the url of this api so i'm putting here slash customer so the address of this api is slash api slash customer so let's run the application and let's see it will create a table in our database or not you can see here there's nothing in our database right now and you can see application is started on port 8080 let me refresh the database and you can see there's a customer table created successfully in our database you can see here the columns id email name phone so let's test this api from postman you can see the url of our backend application so let's write the url of our api after this and let's attack the body so we need to select here body and then raw and here we need to select json and here we need to add email phone and name okay you can see here the email is a string phone is a string and the name is also a string let me add phone like so let's click on this send button and you can see the status we got 200 okay and here's the id that we got from our backend let me refresh the table and you can see that id email name and the phone so let's call this api from angular and let's send this data from our reactive form so let's go to our angular application let's register our post customer component in our app routing module.ts 
you can see here so let me give you the space and we need to add a path then we need to load let me open here app component.html and we need to remove this code and here we need to add router outlet to see the results of our routing components so let me open here the ui add here the url of our post customer component and here you can see post com customer component works so here in app module.ts let me add here a few things so the first one is forms module reactive form modules Let's start with form module. Copy and add over here. And the last thing we need to add that is HTTP client module. Let's import this from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. And here we need to add HTTP client module. You can see it, color is gone. So let me close this and let's go to our customer service. And here I'm going to inject private HTTP client. I've created here the object of HTTP client. And let me add here the URL of our backend application that is a post. And here's the variable name basic underscore URL. And here I'm adding the URL of our backend application. So let me copy from here. So the URL is http colon slash slash localhost colon 888080. Let's create here the method. So the method name is host customer. And in the argument, it will receive customer. That is the type of any. And this method will be done with dot http dot post. And here we need to add the basic URL that is a URL of our backend application and the URL of our API. So it will be a slash API slash custom. With this, we need to pass here the customer object. Now you can see this method is ready in our customer service. So let's call this method from our TS. You can see here the file post customer component let me add here the constructor and the lifecycle loop that is ng on in it that is used to initialize the empty form so first of all i'm injecting here our customer service and the second thing i'm injecting here private fp that is on builder let me import this manually at the rate angular slash forms. Here we need to add form builder. And you can see error is gone. I am initializing here the form variable with the form group. We need to call here this dot post customer form is equal to this dot fp dot group. And here we need to declare the properties that we need to get from the static form from html okay so the first one is a name so it is by default null and we add here very data stored required and second we need to input form and it will remain same as a name the first one is a null and the second one is very data stored required and the third we need to get email that is by default null and the first one we need to add here well data dot required and the second we need to add here well data dot email okay now so let's create a form in our html so let me copy here the code then here's the css code let me copy this you can see here the properties of our css file And you can see the form. So the, here's the form tag, and here's the first tip. That is the input of our name, and here's the email input, and here's the, our phone input, and here's the post button. 
So let's go to our UI and here you can see the form. So let's bind this form with our TS. So first of all, we need to bind a form tag with the TS. So let me add here the property that is a form group. We need to add here post customer form. After that, we need to bind every input with our TS. So here we need to select form control name and here we need to give the property name that we have declared in our TS. So the first one is a name. Second input is an email. And the last one is our form is bind with our TS. So let's get these values on the click event. So let me add here an event that is a click. And here we need to call a method. So let's declare a method in our TS. Oh no, I'm adding here console.log is dot post customer form dot value. Let's print the whole form in our console. Let me open here the console. Let's input here the name, email, and form over here. And here you can see we are getting the whole form in our console, email, phone, and name. So let's send the whole form to our method in our customer service. So let's call here the met service this dot customer service dot post customer and we need to give the old form values. Let's subscribe this and save the response into this variable. And let's add here the statement that is a console dot log. And I'm adding here a variable that is rest. So let's enter the data again. Before calling this API, we need to add here the annotation in our controller class. So the annotation is at the rate cross origin. So let's run the application. Now you can see application is upon 8080. Let's test the API. And here you can see the response we got from our backend. Let's refresh the table in our database. And you can see the record saved successfully like id2 email and name and a phone over here so let's save another customer and you can see we got response from our backend let's refresh the table and you can see so that's all for now from my side i hope you like this video and thanks for watching and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you take care